Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me. My name is Brooke and welcome to Luna Fay Tarot. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Cancer for the week of September 26th to October 3rd. Please watch for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign in this reading. And I want to say thank you to my new subscribers as well as my existing subscribers. And please check me out on Facebook at the link below. And I'm also on Instagram. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can email me at lunafaytero at gmail.com. And that is in the description box below. And Cancer, you were so hard to shuffle for this week. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had to shuffle for you like three times. <laughs> There's some heavy emotions going on for Cancer this week. What is going on? So Cancer, I'm going to lay out three cards like I did last week. And I do want to show you the card that is on the bottom of the deck. And maybe this is why you were so hard to shuffle for. We see the Eight of Swords. This is all about feeling restricted, feeling trapped in a situation for Cancers. For many of those that are watching, kind of feeling stuck in a situation, feeling blindfolded or feeling like you have no other options, you're restricted, something is kind of like some sort of situation makes you feel very stuck and very trapped, Cancerian. So there's a lot of heavy energy attached to this for many of those that are watching. So my rising sign is Cancer and I don't know, but there is some sort of weird mojo in terms of shuffling. So let's see what we have for you, Cancer, for the week. Well, this is interesting. So <laughs> the first card that has appeared is the sun. And then we have two aces in your reading this week, Cancer. So something is definitely afoot for you. The sun has appeared, Cancer, which is the most optimistic, positive, affirmation type of card in the tarot deck if the sun was an affirmation it would say all is well good outcome you are special friends family success this week there's going to be a turn of events for cancer that will essentially shed some light of positivity upon a situation that was feeling very much like this and now it's coming in like this. So that's a good positive sign to take you out of this restrictive, negative, low vibrational energy. The sun has appeared for you that this week, Cancer, which is a very positive omen. It's a very positive sign for you, essentially embracing any opportunities that come in this week for you, as well as being surrounded by family and friends as well as getting out there, getting out from under yourself, getting out from under a situation where perhaps you're feeling oppressed, getting out from under a situation perhaps where you're feeling depressed from circumstances that you're in. The Sun card has appeared, which something is going to really come about for Cancer this week. And I really think going into the month of October is going to look really, really well for Cancerians as well and I'll be doing your monthly tarot forecasts coming out later this week. So following this card, we see the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups for you, Cancer, is all about new beginnings, especially in relationships, emotions, renewal of love for those in existing relationships. For single Cancerians, this could be perhaps meeting someone new this week, entering into new love partnerships as well meeting new people, getting into new relationships. This could be an upswing in your sex life. The, your cup is, spilleth over, Cancer. So some form of emotional satisfaction and contentment coming in for Cancer this week. And it's going to be a real love vibe, real love fest for you. And you may be feeling a lot of support from other people. You may also be feeling like some form of satisfaction someone may be helping you out there may be gifts coming there may be people just supporting you which is going to feel very fabulous getting phone calls emails and just feeling more support 
from family, from friends, from relationships. Many of you may be also renewing emotions in existing relationships. Something's coming around for cancer that once again is taking you out of this energy of the Eight of Swords oppressiveness, feeling stuck and feeling trapped. Okay, this feeling, this heavy energy this week with the Sun card is like a promise that things are now going to start to, to turn themselves around in some way. This also could be an indicator of good health for many that are watching, receiving good news about health with the Ace of Cups as well. So just keep that in mind for Cancer. Now, the following Ace, the Ace of Pentacles has appeared. So this is very much about money. This could be new jobs coming. This could be raises. This could be receiving, uh, you know, small to medium amounts of money this week for many of those that are watching. There could be a gift being given to you, Cancerians, from the universe, essentially, and a financial reward of some kind, especially towards the end of the week with the Ace of Pentacles. And both Aces in one week is a huge new beginning for many of those that are watching, especially when it comes to new beginnings in finance, new beginnings in, with jobs or opportunities or investments, new opportunities with relationships and money together, marriages, something very much tied in with money. This, once again, could be a raise, this could be a promotion, this could be receiving amounts of money. This could be acquiring a new employment, new career, uh, changing careers. Uh, if you are switching jobs, you could be getting a promotion or a higher salary. Something's very much tied in with money this week for Cancerians. Very connected to relationships. And some form of success is on its way for you. This is very, very positive, Cancerians. And you're the most positive reading I've had for this week. So keep me posted. Let me know how your week goes. Have a great week. And I'll be back in the later part of this week for your October monthly tarot forecast. But Cancer, you're really coming out of some restricted period, oppressive period. And it's being highlighted this week. So, you know, keep your fingers crossed. I think that's fabulous for you. So have a great week, Cancerians. And I'll speak to you soon.